Hi folks, this is all the fruit. I'm in Germany at the cliff known as Rotenfels, the biggest cliff between the Alps and the Norwegian fjords. Unfortunately, the part with the big cliff is a little bit in the shade, so enjoy some of the lower areas of the cliff, which are not less spectacular. Underneath the cliff, we have wine yards, dry slopes with lots and lots of basically sub-Mediterranean vegetation. This is like a piece of the Mediterranean in Germany. Not unlike the Middle Rhine Valley, which is not very far from here. Yeah, and just like the Middle Rhine Valley, those dry sub-Mediterranean places are basically confined to the valleys. Once you get on the plateaus around the valleys, the landscape and climate is pretty much typical for Germany. But here, as you can see, the climate is not only sub-Mediterranean, but the drought has struck. In the area of Heidelberg, we had severe drought in spring, but then the, the late spring and early summer was quite wet. So, yeah, uh, on my farm, the black thorn is quite intact. But here, as you can see, not everywhere. I realized that the whole area didn't get as much rain as my area of Germany, which is about 100 kilometers away from here. Not all the black thorn on this uh, slope have suffered. Some even have retained their fruit. I guess this is a particularly dry area here. As you can see, the leaves are gone. Well, I'm not exactly sure if the branches will survive. Not all of them for sure. I don't know how, m how much of the branches will survive. This one still looks like it's more or less alive, but Let's see, the leaves are gone, the fruit are gone, and I'm sure that part of the branches will also be gone. Of course, some roots will survive, so the blackthorn will survive on this slope. But here I just wanted to show you, yeah, that drought is not something that occurs only in desert or Mediterranean areas, but yeah, even in such a comparatively cold and wet country like Germany, well, especially on such extreme habitats like this here, but the last couple of years, even in some more normal habitats, you get so much drought that even a very drought hardy shrub like the black thorn is suffering. Look at the fruit. They basically shriveled up, were still unripe. Yeah, small and astringent. So folks, this was the black thorn, Pruno Spinoza, dying back beneath the biggest and most spectacular cliffs in Germany, unfortunately, with the wrong sunlight and the wrong angle to show you the most spectacular parts of the cliff. Stay tuned for a lot more fruit videos from the beautiful country of Germany. And don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe.